Hey guys, it's Brian with Retired at 40. Welcome back to the Live Life Simple Kitchen. And today we're gonna to talk about one of the fastest ways to make back your break even point on that expensive Harvest Right freeze dryer. And that is, of course, freeze drying your leftovers and purchasing some close to expiring food at the store or some closeout or clearance type food. Um, it can really start to save you money quick. So I'm gonna show you one quick example of one single trip that I went to the store that made me pay pennies on the dollar for multiple servings of food. Coming up. So in my last video, we went over some Harvest Right freeze dryer hacks, and one of the hacks that I suggested was an extra set of trays. And when you're dealing with leftovers and trying to save your leftovers and keep 100% of the food that you make, that extra set of trays really comes in handy. So I always have an extra set of trays going, and I just uh, I add to them as I have extra stuff to put on them, and I just keep using the stackers. I stack them up until I have a full load, and then I throw it in the freeze dryer. But I don't need to show you how to stack leftovers in your freezer that's a no-brainer everyone knows how to do that I want to show you an example of how going to the store and buying some food that's either being clearanced out or they're trying to fire sale it for some reason whether it's getting close to its expiration date or it's just a not a good seller for them uh, can really add up quick and give you some uh, some really cheap portions of food to freeze dry so I consider myself a pretty frugal guy and I've been called every name in the book when it comes to being frugal tightwad Penny pincher, cheap ass, thrifty, stingy. But of all the things you can waste your money on, food is at the top of the list for me. I can't stand wasting money on food and letting food go to waste. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I really love Aldi, Aldi Foods. And I'm not sure what kind of deal Aldi has worked out, but it must be with some kind of wholesaler or something because it seems like they always have deals going constantly and their food inventory is always different um, all the time, about 50% of it at least. The last time I was at Aldi, I had my eye on these. They're teriyaki chicken stir fry kits and they're normally $5, which seems insanely expensive for what you actually get in here. But these were on sale for 99 cents a piece. They had cases and cases of these things for 99 cents and hindsight's always 20, 20. I should have bought everything they had. I ended up with about 15. I've, I've had a couple just, just for lunch, but I'm left with 13. These are considered two and a half servings each, so technically they'd feed you two and a half times for 99 cents. And these meet all of my criteria for things that I love to freeze dry, which is easy to reconstitute, easy to make, like you can make it in a matter of minutes. And a really important one for me, which is not always a necessity, is that you can just heat this back up with boiling water because you can boil water in a matter of minutes and you almost always have water and you almost always would have the ability to have fire. So for $13, I got 32 and a half servings, but what I'm really excited about is I'm gonna cook all of this up, see how it freeze dries and see how it rehydrates. And then we'll kind of compare the amount of servings and calories and things, freeze dry it in this in comparison to what you would buy from the store. But first I need to unpackage all this stuff. I need to cook the noodles, cook the chicken, and then I'm gonna add some, uh, some broccoli and some cauliflower to spruce it up a little bit. This is a massive amount of food. Um, I fit three trays full. This is a large size freeze dryer. I've got three trays full of Korean style barbecue. And then these other two are gonna be teriyaki chicken, which means we're gonna have some extras left over. So I'm just gonna say it was 10 packages and that makes it a nice even $10 that I spent. And then I spent another $4 on those mixed vegetables. I'm gonna fill up these last trays um, and then we're gonna go into the freeze dryer. I'm gonna run a whole cycle on the freeze dryer. I'm gonna do the freeze and everything. I'm not gonna pre-freeze the food because I really haven't used the, the large that much at this point and I kind of just want to see the differences in uh, cycle times. So this looks really really good and this whole tray right here is only going to cost two dollars and fifty cents. We're gonna have five trays it'll basically feed 25 people it's considered 25 servings and 25 servings for ten dollars Hopefully this does as well, freeze dried. 
as it did being cooked. And I've got my, tr my trays labeled, two trays of teriyaki chicken, and three trays of Korean spicy barbecue chicken. We're gonna let the freeze dryer work its magic. And while this cycle's completing, we'll go run some numbers. Well, I was gonna do a comparison of our chicken stir fry and our teriyaki in, in a comparison into uh, something that was store purchased, but I ran into a pretty big problem. And the problem was, there's nothing to compare it to. So I'm hoping that's not a bad sign for our stir fry. Uh, hopefully that means that this will actually freeze dry okay still. Uh, maybe they know something that we don't know. We're gonna have to find out. The closest thing that I can find was this Mountain House chicken teriyaki. It does not have noodles in it. But just for comparison purposes, I am gonna compare it to the Mountain House chicken teriyaki. So I really hate to bag on Mountain House because I, it seems like I constantly bag on Mountain House, but they're real expensive and they're also kind of the easiest target because they're probably the biggest competitor and uh, probably for food quality they're up towards the top uh, but everything that Mountain House sells is about ten dollars um, through their website you might be able to get it a little cheaper through somewhere else but ten bucks they're all two servings and that gives us a nice easy to use number of five dollars per serving so if we compare that to our chicken stir-fry we have 25 servings we paid ten dollars for the ingredients plus the four dollars extra extra for the veggies. So we've got $14 into 25 servings. That gives us $1.78 per serving. If we add in our electricity costs for a large machine, it's anywhere from $3.50 to $5 per cycle. And that keeps us under $2 per serving at $1.94 per serving. But next I wanna compare the calories because I think that's just as important as anything. So just about any kind of scenario that I can think of that you would want to use freeze dried food, you want more calories. You want the most bang for your buck because whether the S just hit the F or you're backpacking or you're camping or whatever it is, you wanna get the most mileage you can out of the least amount that you can. So Korean style barbecue, 400 calories per serving, 960 for all of it in here. Teriyaki chicken, you're getting 380 per serving, 910 for everything that's in here. And then we did two bags of veggies, you're getting another 10 to 15 calories for the veggies that are in each serving. Next, let's check out the chicken teriyaki. Wah, wah. 240 calories per serving, 480 in this entire bag. So not only is our home freeze dried less than half the price of the Mountain House, it's also packing twice the calories in each serving. It looks like our home freeze dried stir fry is almost done, so let's get this out of here. We're gonna rehydrate it and we're gonna give it a taste test. All right, the machine says we're done, 54 hours and four seconds, and I'm really having a hard time adjusting to the large size. I just got this large machine, and uh, it takes a lot longer than the medium, but for good reason, it's doing almost twice as much food. So one of the trays just had a, just a hint of moisture left in it, so I think I'm just gonna play it safe. I'm gonna throw six more hours on it. That'll make it a nice even 60 hour cycle time, and that should, uh, that should make it done. I'll bag it up and then I'll meet you upstairs. We'll rehydrate this thing and give it a taste test. But first, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button if you found the video helpful, and while you're there, click the bell to get notifications because we release a video every Sunday at eight o'clock. Also, make sure you check out our groups on Facebook and MeWe. It's just retired at 40s freeze drying groups. We're now doing multiple giveaways every month. Let's make sure you check out our store, freezedryingsupplies.com. We're developing new products all the time. We're working really hard. We just released some new shirts for all you freeze drying addicts. And last, if you're thinking about purchasing a freeze dryer, use our affiliate link. It really helps out this channel and helps out the freeze drying community. And now let's get to rehydrating and give this thing a taste test. So while our water's boiling for this, we'll go ahead and cut these open and you can see what they look like. So here's our teriyaki chicken and our Korean barbecue chicken.
All right, so this is gonna take a little bit for the water to get absorbed up into the noodles. So I'm gonna let this sit for about five to 10 minutes and then we'll give this a taste test. Well, I've gotta say I had my doubts on this sauce because it was pretty sugary and a lot of times the sugar doesn't always, doesn't always freeze dry very well. But let's give our chicken teriyaki a try. It's exactly how you want it to be. It was exact, it tastes exactly, texture and everything is exactly the way it was before we put it in the freeze dryer. See how our Korean barbecue did. Same thing on the Korean barbecue, really good. And the, just adding the little vegetables and just adding the cauliflower and the broccoli. Whew, that's got some heat too. Really did well. Well, that's it for today. It looks like a, another success in the freeze drying world. Really easy way to make back your money, just uh, buy expiring food or a clearanced food at the grocery store or even freeze drying your leftovers. In the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next week.